on everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Let's farm some news, babe. Let's take farm some news. Today, we're going to talk about the most recent patch for Farm Sim 22 on Xbox. Yes. I think we got 17 modders to talk about, 18, 19. There's been a bunch to talk about today. See ya. Check it out. A few days ago, Xbox players loaded up Farming Simulator 22 to find an update. Oddly enough, it was the same day that I said, there's no update. Perfect timing on my part, I must say. This is update 1.2.0.2, which is actually a patch that was released around 10 days ago or so. Microsoft, for some reason, held back this update and didn't drop it until just a few days ago. It is patch handling with the Banner 2 MC184. Also fixed an issue with using tools and variable working with in the Norwegian and Portuguese fixed an issue in using the charging station in Czech, fixed an issue with AI grain tank is almost full in Danish, Norwegian, and Swedish, and fixed a crash when loading saved games with corrupted trees. However, trees can still get corrupted when cutting them. If you're playing on PC, Mac, PlayStation, or Xbox, make sure you double check that you're updated to the latest version of the game so you can have all the latest patches and updates. If you want to see all the latest updates to FarmSim 22, Check out the link in the description beside patch notes. Work continues on 82 Studios TLX 3500 pickup truck, first revealed earlier this week, and the second part of the conversion with new features has already started, which includes new Baja wheels, which look beautiful. They are awesome. This truck will be available in two-door and four-door versions with beds to match each one, similarly to what we saw in Farm Sim 19, so that's great news. Work continues tonight on 3500, so if you want to be the first to see the progress or possibly even get your input on the design and feature set, check out 82 studio on youtube tonight at 5 p.m eastern right after the farm sim show hispano modding has submitted four more mods for testing for all platforms a branded and lizard versions of their tandem att trailer and branded and lizard versions of the chrome big pack 1290 with the r90 merger players on pc will be getting the aguas tinius tandem att while console players will be receiving the lizard version since Aguas Tanis is not a licensed brand, and I can't even say it, so there you go. Similarly, PC players will be getting the Natal R90 version of their merger baler, while console players will be getting the Lizard version, since Natal is not a licensed either. Regardless of the brand or which version you're playing on, all players are going to be able to enjoy literally the exact same merger baler and trailer. One thing is, Giants probably have around 500 plus mods sitting waiting to be tested, so this could be a while before we see these. Just keep that in mind. JHHG brings us some more progress on his Jonder 8R 8RT 2009-2011 series for all platforms, saying that the model, normal maps, textures, UDIM, and Giants Editor are all done. They're now working on programming, scripting, sounds, and finally getting it tested. These mods have been completely remade. They've got new animations, new Continental, and Goodyear tires to go along with them. Get hyped because these are going to be great additions to any green farm in FS22 no matter what platform you play on. They say that there's still a little ways to go from them sending it off for testing, but I'll let you guys know once we get close. Smeddy has officially announced specs and options for their Class Axian 800 mod, which will feature new tire options that we don't have available in the base game version, as well as a new black wheel weight. Looks great. Front loader sport, power shift transmission, and of course, license plate. We do have a class of AXE and 800 mod already in game. We've talked about this before, so it's unclear if Giants will accept this version or not. I'm just going to have to wait and see. EY Modding brings us some more information on their Massey Ferguson 165, which is going to be making its way back for farms and players to enjoy. This is going to have six different engine options. you got the 165, 175, and 185. You've also got the 168, 178, and 188. It will also be available with many different wheel configurations from normal two-wheel drive all the way up to four-wheel drive with duels all the way around. You can also go with a cabin or not and customize it basically however you want to. It's going to be perfect for smaller jobs or as a yard tractor. Mod has passed internal testing and will be sent off for Giants for testing for all platforms soon. Agritono's John Deere CS770 has passed internal testing and is with Giants waiting testing right now. We've also got a fact sheet style big to go along with the mod, so let's take a look at it. It's going to cost you $913,000, making it, I believe, the most expensive thing in the game, at least at the time of recording this. It has 515 horsepower, max traveling speed of 20 miles per hour for 32 kilometers per hour, holds 1,220 liters of fuel, makes 10,000 liter round bells of cotton, just like the John Deere that we've got in game. Evidently, this header is a mod, or maybe it's not, I'm not really sure. Uh, sure, it's not showing a cost here, so I guess they're doing a separate part for that. Either way, this is going to have a working length of 11.4 meters and a working speed of 6 miles per hour or 10 kilometers per hour. Pretty standard stuff through there. This whole mod is going to be incredible. It's going to make doing cotton much easier for all players. As I stated before, it's currently with Giants waiting testing. Some people will be coming back to Giants on Monday, January 3rd, but everyone else will be back on January the 10th. 
to be one before we see this. Along with that harvester, you're gonna need to pick those bells up. Ed Servertex has the way to do it. They have been working together to bring over an auto-loaded cotton bell trailer that's gonna hold nine round bells. It's 90,000 liters in one trip. Not a bad pairing at all. This mod might be a little bit further behind the harvester, however, as the end game process has just started with this trailer. Although, probably won't take that long. I'll let you guys know about the progress once we know more. Connect Modding is bringing another very popular mod back to the franchise, the Bandurante Raster H7. Well, when I say that they're bringing it back, what I really mean is another new version of this. At Farmsim 90, we had the H9. This is actually a smaller version. It is a subsoiler, and you guys know I've been very fond of those in FS22 over the previous game's versions. This was our first teaser, so stay tuned for more. Pulse FS are bringing over something to get high ratings in FS19, the Lizard MJ CG 9.5T Auger Wagon. Heck of a name, but it's got for a purpose. As you can see from these screenshots, work has started, but it's moving along very quickly. In FS19, this would hold 10,810 liters and add cabin options, or color options rather, and wheel options. It was great and easy to use auger for starting farms and smaller farms. No other information was available at the time of recording this video, but will be for all platforms once it's completed. In the last farm some news, we talked about the D800 and D1000 balers from 4D modding, and today has been released over on Era Agri website for PC players. The D800 makes 180 and 220 centimeter bales, and the D1000 will make those plus the 240 centimeter bales. Additionally, they've included a special bale wrapper which will wrap the 180 and 220 centimeter bales as a modified version of the K brand that we've got in game. Check the description for links to these downloads right now. If you play on console, don't worry. They do say that a version for you guys will follow soon on Mod Hub. In the last video, we talked about the metal shed pack from A-Dub Modding, and today we get some screenshots of it in game. These are going to be massive and will hold just about whatever you want to put under them. Since there are so many different ones in different versions, there's going to be something for every farm and yard out there. Ada Modding's not the only one doing sheds, though, as Dutch Co. have also got some new screenshots of their shed pack, which will include two different sheds, one for storing equipment and another one that's got a workshop trigger to repair your stuff, things like that. You can also use the regular one to, as a storage shed for crops as well, if you wish to do that. Not done yet, because Omatana shows up four of the pieces coming with the American Farm Pack, which she says will have lots of farmhouses, silos, uh, buying stations, barns, cardboards, and sheds. Shown here in this screenshot, we've got the old shed on the left, farmhouse, silo, and the carport on the right. Soon the pack will be in beta, and will follow on Mod Hub for all platforms. FLSD94 is updating their stone crushing line production with lights and solar panels, which is now going to require water as an input as well as stone. They've also increased the stone requirement, decreased the storage capacity for lime and stone, added a war or water tank model, and of course, new auger tanks and animations. They've also got various pricing and placement corrections. The update is for all platforms and is with Giants waiting testing. BSR Modding is bringing back a truck mod from FS19, the FS Truck Revolution. It's always been a little bit out there with some kind of wacky customization and things that you can't remove, but they say you will have the option of interior colors, headlights, and bumpers. Hopefully we can also take off these liveries and change the grill, but I doubt those will be options. All right, let's move over to some mapping news and let's start with White Bull Modding, who has been sharing some new screenshots from the Hills of Sylvania 22 over the past few days. We get to see the farmyard. We've also got a shot from behind the barn as well. This is a very small map, so don't expect a whole lot of land to run, but you will be able to run a smaller, older style farm and have a great time doing it. If you want to get an idea of what the map's going to look like in the new game, actually check it out on Farmsim 19, where you can download the latest version for all platforms. DJ Modding also shows off some screenshots around his new Forex map for PC players for FS22. He says the map is still a work in progress, but at least we get to see around some of the fields with undulating and rounded terrain, beautiful river flowing through the map, and more. If you'd like to see all of the screenshots that he shared, make sure you check out the link below beside DJ Monty. Lancey Boy says that he's about 80% up and running after the recent game crash and the loss of progress that he had on his upcoming projects. He's currently working on getting things back to where they were before the crash. He's got an America map based in Wisconsin and a UK map whose location has not been shared yet. Oxygen David says that he's added some slightly edited lighting to Comsden Farm, so now the sky is a deeper blue and the nights are pitch black with just a little bit of moonlight. You can also clean out the barns if you want to and remove all the junk in them, or you can leave them in piece by piece, at least that's the way it looks here. Oxygen David is the king of adding just little details that no one would have thought about and making them seem like they should have been there all along. I don't know how he does it, 
but I absolutely love it. And lastly, today, I wanted to thank everybody for the birthday shout outs yesterday. And of course, to Mapper's Paradise for making this beautiful work of art right here. I love this. Yesterday was one of the best birthdays that I've had in years. And I wanted to thank you guys for helping to make it awesome. It really meant a lot to me. You guys rock. Just like I rock with the segues to the outro. Oh yeah, just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. It's no release dates for mods. Myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. And tomorrow, I'm going to have a video showing off all the things that I didn't talk about. We're going to update you on the latest progress and find out what happened. Also, please refer to previous episodes for the most current status of those other projects or just check out tomorrow. And make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Join the GoHand fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Today is Farm Sim Show Day. We're going to be doing it on Clutch's stream. I'm not going to be doing it on GoHand gear or GoHand shorts, nothing like that. I'm going to find it over on Clutch Simulation's YouTube channel. Link below. I'll be dead. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. No, see you later. Well, Christmas is over, birthday's over, New Year's almost here. Time to get the party started.